Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Angus, and today I will guide you through the technology and the vision of fewer arm control moment gyroscope. So, something that was briefly mentioned by uh, Thomas before. Um, so, we will try to educate you about what control moment gyroscopes are for those of you that don't know what they do, how they function. We will briefly go through the hows and what's of uh, CMGs. Uh, before we focus on what Fieware has to offer as solutions with uh, CMGs. So Fieware is a company founded in 2016, developing its core skills and competence in in-orbit mobility. So as a young company, we started with our focus on satellite attitude control technologies, more specifically development of CMGs for small satellites. And with more, uh, small satellites, we understand small, uh, satellites smaller than 500 kilograms. Um, I am Arne Boris. so as mentioned before, the Embedded Software Engineer uh, of Fieldware, and currently I am mainly busy with the uh, firmware for our CMGs. So what is a CMG? Um, the, a CMG mainly consists of a wheel, a wheel that um, is mounted on a certain axis that can spin. Um, this we will call the spin axis. And the core functionality of a CMG lies within the ability to control the direction of this axis. Uh, so we need some kind of rotating platform that can reorientate this spinning axis. Um, in real life, we then get something like this, which is the CMG that was used for the ISS space station. Um, and obviously this would not fit a, um, a small satellite. So we came up with this. Um, and as you can see, we here have a spinning wheel, uh, which we can reorient with a small platform. Um, now, how does this work? So when we spin a wheel, uh, we create a uh, angular momentum, which is held by the wheel that is spinning. Um, and by reorientating this wheel, so by turning the spin axis of the flywheel, a gyroscopic torque perpendicular to the angular momentum will be created in the plane of rotation. Um, the amount of torque is determined by the rate of change of the angular momentum, thus the speed with which we rotate the platform on which the wheel is mounted. By controlling the direction of this angular momentum, we can interact with the total angular momentum of the, of the satellite, uh, which allows us to influence the attitude of a spacecraft. Um, and here you see um, what this looks like in action. So uh, quickly try to pause. Well, here we have uh, four CMGs. So as with reaction wheels, we need four CMGs to create a full momentum envelope. Um, and we can see here, so the wheels spinning on top of the rotating platform, uh, which are reorientating the direction of this spin axis of the wheels. And then in this case, for a um, Earth observation mission, we can reorient the, or, or yes, we can control the attitude of the satellite um, in its orbit. Um, now, our sales team has noticed that the awareness of the existence of CMGs on the market for small satellites is not always present. Uh, and when searching for actuators, uh, often the search is done with reaction wheels as a keyword. So we made a small overview of the two technologies to compare how they work uh, and what they do. So CMGs uh, and reaction wheels both rely on the uh, principle of momentum conservation. Um, with a reaction wheel, this momentum is fixed in the direction of the spin axis, uh, while with a CMG, we can uh, redirect this uh, direction of the momentum by turning the rotating platform. Um, and since the uh, change of angular momentum creates torque, um, the change of the magnitude of this angular momentum makes or creates the torque in a reaction wheel, while in a CMG, um, this is done by reorientating the wheel. So by moving the, the direction of this momentum. And for those of you involved with electromotors, 
uh, you can directly see that uh, in, in terms of power consumption, um, a CMG, so rotating um, a wheel at a constant speed, will be much more efficient than uh, spinning a wheel up and down constantly. So, uh, yeah. So what did we do? We had a good look at the bigger example. We miniaturized it. And, uh, this is what we came up with. Um, we believe that the CMG is uh, the most performant actuator type for attitude control in small satellites. Um, for example, to reach the performance of a CMG, you could boost the reaction wheel through uh, playing with the input voltage of your reaction wheel. But even boosted reaction wheels uh, will not suffice to reach the po uh, potential of a CMG. Um, yeah. Also, uh, we have a small lead time and everything is idle free. Um, currently, where are we with this technology? So we are almost ready to step into the market with two CMGs. We are currently uh, planning an IOD for the second quarter of 2022. And um, as you can see, the technology is de-risked with the support of uh, the European Space Agency. Um, in these, so most of these pictures are also from uh, the test facilities uh, of ESTEC in the Netherlands uh, at ESA. Um, our approach also involves modularity, as already mentioned by James. Um, so we approach the CMG actually as a scalable building block. This means that um, for performance requirements that not uh, that cannot be met by a cluster of four CMGs, um, we can equip bigger satellites with a multitude of uh, CMGs that are similarly oriented. Um, so yeah, for example, we can fit uh, up to 16 CMGs in a, in a big satellite. Um, you also see mentioned in the slide that uh, we target satellites from 50 to 500 kilos. And you can ask why, why won't we go smaller than 50 kilos? Our modular um, approach involves that we have some um, components that will not change when we um, make the CMG smaller. So for targeting smaller satellites, you would only need a smaller wheel, but the rotating platform and the control electronics, which are part of one module, uh, would not shrink. Um, and that's why we believe we found a sweet spot with our micro CMG, one of the two models I will introduce. Um, where we found a good balance between the mass of module and the potential torque uh, it can deliver. So, so this is um, our micro CMG, which we like to compare with uh, a one NMS reaction wheel. And for those of you familiar with uh, reaction wheels, you can see for the mass and the peak power uh, and the momentum the wheel is holding, we can create a lot of torque. And the same can be said for its bigger brother, uh, which we call the mini CMG and compare it to a four NMS reaction wheel, um, where for the same story for the mass, the peak power and uh, the momentum it holds, we can create a lot of torque. Um, both CMGs are equipped with a COM interface. Uh, UART can be implemented uh, on request. Um, and currently we have two uh, engineering models available. Um, or the boat, the boat uh, models are available as engineering models. Uh, and flight models will be available close to our IOD um, in the second quarter of 2022. Now, what do you get when you combine uh, four of each model uh, to have a, a full attitude control system. Um, well, along the pitch roll, pitch roll and jaw axis, um, we can get for the four micro CMGs almost two NMS, uh, and for four mini CMGs uh, above six NMS, um, which then can create uh, one newton meter uh, along each axis for micro CMG and more than three newton meter for the mini CMGs. Um, the peak power mentioned is uh, if we do a um, 
yeah, a, a maneuver um, at uh, or maximum speed um, along or around one of the axes um, for, for one second. Um, and for a cluster, you then come to seven, uh, approximately seven kilos for micro CMGs and 11 kilos for mini CMGs. Um, um, we also want to mention that CMGs are not, um, or it's not a technology that should be exclusive to your, uh, or if you choose for CMGs, that it should not be exclusively CMGs in your attitude control system, but that CMGs can be combined with reaction wheels. So they both rely on the same principle, so uh, you can combine them. Um, yeah. Uh, this can, for example, be the case in uh, missions where you have or you need you need uh, more agility along one axis than another one. Um, our modeler approach also involves that you can uh, arrange uh, these these modules in your satellite as you want. Um, so on the on the left we have an, an, an array approach. On the bottom we have a linear approach, uh, and the right top is actually demonstrating that um, every CMG can be placed in a different location in your satellite. Uh, so every module holds its own uh, communication and, and uh, control electronics. So um, it's perfectly possible to scatter them through your system. Um, yes. Um, this is the end of my presentation. I want to thank you for your attention. And uh, if you have further questions or require more information about CMGs and or, or what we can do for you, uh, you can always uh, pop a question in the Q&A uh, or contact me by email. And uh, yeah, I hope you learned something more about CMGs and uh, what they could mean for your control attitude system.